Last night, we showed you how a third of drunk driving cases are dismissed in Bernalillo County, mostly because of police officers dropping the ball. That's according to numbers from the DA's office. Tonight in a KRQE investigation, the three departments behind just about every DWI arrest in the metro defend their track records, and Perrette lays out why police say it's not always their fault. If we get a case where discovery has been turned over, the officers have conducted their interviews and they show up to court, we're convicting at about an 89% rate. We don't lose those cases. 89% of drunk drivers held accountable if police follow through on DWI cases. The Bernalillo County DA's office data reveals officers aren't showing up to court, completing pretrial interviews, or turning over all the evidence. What's going on? Albuquerque Police, State Police, and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office all say there are justified explanations. They could be on leave, they could be on vacation, they could have got COVID, they could have had a baby, uh, they could have not got notification uh, that, that the trial was happening. One deputy might have seven cases that are being prosecuted in six different courtrooms throughout the day. The number one reason is uh, the fact that uh, officers are tied up on something else and they're unable to go. APD's Chief Harold Medina says when it comes to leaving a call to get to court, the call takes priority, but says that shouldn't have to be an either or scenario. The answers to some of these questions have to be posed to our legislature and to our courts, and they have to find ways that we ensure that cases are extended when it's beyond the officer's control, whether they can be in court or not. Deputy DA Joshua Boone is quick to point out that defendants have the right to keep their cases moving forward. To help with scheduling, the DA's office says it has worked with APD to make sure they're on the same page. And if you look back historically over the year, these are probably some of the best numbers we've had in uh, conviction rates. Uh, in a very long time. Chief Medina wants to focus on the 68% conviction rate for 2020 cases, up almost 20% over the previous two years. He believes the pandemic restrictions played a big role, allowing officers to appear in hearings and trials by Zoom rather than having to physically show up. They were able to be in multiple places at once, and this enabled us to kind of spread ourselves thinner. But I pointed out in 2020, 320 of APD's cases were still dismissed. Of those 320, a judge dismissed half of them because of an officer's failure, justified or not. The data shows an increase in APD officers failing to complete a pretrial interview, an added task the deputy DA says shouldn't be required. Why are we needing to interview officers when everything's being recorded on body cameras? dash cameras or some kind of video. He says defense attorneys can watch those recordings and read the police report, leaving the officer out of the equation. The defendant's rights should be protected, absolutely. But in these particular cases, this is an unnecessary step. Sometimes it feels like we add things to this process uh, in hopes of uh, the more dates you add to an officer's calendar, the more chance there is they can't show up. Failing to show up to court was state police's biggest problem in 2019. The data attributes 75% of their dismissals to officers, while NMSP has a five-person DWI unit devoted to catching drunk drivers in Albuquerque. Chief Tim Johnson doesn't believe any of them are responsible for those dismissals. In 2019, we sent a very large contingent of our uh, force to the metro area to assist APD with violent crime. 50 officers from all over New Mexico deployed to Albuquerque for 50 days, making various stops and arrests, who then went back to their original posts when their time was up. I didn't plan it as well as I should have uh, to make sure that the back end was taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's on me. In 2020, the dismissals for state police DWI cases dropped drastically. And looking at the numbers overall, state police have the highest conviction rate in the county, 81.2%. The agency also made the smallest number of DWI arrests in 2020, just 305. I, I do believe the citizens, uh, you know, at times or, or all the time probably want a 100% conviction rate. Uh, I don't know that that's possible. A point BCSO's Lieutenant Aaron Williamson made a few times during our conversation. We'd love to see a 100% conviction rate. 
but that's not the way our, our court system is set up. He says it's unfair to pin dismissals on police, pointing out we wouldn't even be looking at these issues if people weren't driving drunk in the first place. Lieutenant Williamson says tougher penalties would help with that. People are getting charged and they're realizing that, you know, this is not this is not what I want to do. But there aren't any penalties if a deputy doesn't follow through on a case. Correct. Again, we're human. I mean, there's there's plenty of, of blame to go around to, to everybody. I asked why a third of their dismissed cases in 2020 were for missing evidence. Lieutenant Williamson defended deputies, explaining they aren't always aware there's an issue. Could that have been just a, a clerical error? Could that have been you know, changed by making a phone call saying, hey, we don't have this evidence, do you have it? None of the three departments believe their officers miss deadlines or court dates if they can help it. Every one of them is dedicated when they make an arrest, they want to see it through and they want to see a conviction. It's a letdown for an officer because so much work has been put into that case to begin with. Or what's the point? We'll look in the mirror on the ones that are our fault uh, and we'll meet with the DA's office um, to, to figure out a better system if, if, if it's not working on their end. As for all those drunk drivers catching a break, the DA's office hopes the embarrassment, hassle and time behind bars from the DWI arrest is enough to make them think twice before driving drunk again. Ann Perrette, KRQE Investigates. In 2019 and 2020, 16% of APD's dismissed cases were because of one officer. They were dropped because the officer behind those arrests, Fred Duran, was fired for lying in a DWI case.